Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. In today's video what we're going to be going over is using the hardware benchmark already inside of Unreal Engine so we can then give the player the best settings optimal for their computer. So what this is going to do is just find out which settings are best for the player's computer and then apply them so that it's then automatically on there so the game is going to be running as best as it can and looking as best as it can for that specific player. Now in today's video as you can see I'm doing this inside of Unreal Engine 5 However, this works the exact same in 4, it's not changed at all. I'm just doing it in 5 as that's kind of my default engine nowadays. But again, it will work in either one. So let me hit play and show what we're going to make today. So if I were to press 2, you can see we have some terrible graphics here. Doesn't look that great, kind of just looks a bit like a mobile game. If I were to press 1, I get this kind of thing here, which allows me to then press this button to give the best settings for me. It will take a minute to load while it's doing this benchmark. And then as you can see, it's then applied these settings which are then best for my system and is going to look the best it can. Now you don't have to do it on a button press and obviously if it was you wouldn't really do it inside the game here. It'd be in the main menu options and settings kind of place or you can just do this so when the player loads the game it automatically does this anyway so there is no options menu it just does this for the player by default. Whatever you want to do it's very easy and simple to set up it's the same code it's just a matter of where you put it. So this is what I'm going to be going over and setting up today. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to define where we want this to happen. So again, if you want this to be in an options menu, so it's a button the player presses, or just when the player loads up the game. I'm going to be doing it on a button press in a widget. However, if you want to do this just when the player loads up the game, what I'd recommend doing is going into your level blueprint of your main menu level and just doing this code off of event begin play on there. Again, I'm doing it on a widget. So what I'm going to do is go to control space content and open up my options widget that I have and as you can see my options widget is very simply just this button here called best settings for me. I imagine you've already got your options menu set up but if you haven't you can follow the link in the description down below or on screen now to watch a tutorial where I've gone over setting that up. But once you've got the button which you want or again however you want to actually be doing this what we're going to do is if it's a button we're going to select it go down to on clicked and we're going to get that here. Now everything after this is what you're going to do no matter where you're doing this code. So we're going to get game user settings. Don't worry, you don't need to set anything up for this. It comes by default with Unreal. Out of the return value, what we're going to do is run hardware benchmark. And if we hover over that, we can see it's going to run the hardware benchmark and populate scalability quality as well as the last benchmark results config members. So essentially what this is doing is it's running a benchmark to see what our system can handle and then it's also going to save these settings as well which is going to be perfect so we're going to do this here now you can leave all these values as they are by default that is going to work perfectly and then all we want to do after this is come out of the return value of the get game user settings once again and simply apply settings and untick check for command line override plug that into there and it's that simple that is literally all we need to do so this is quite a quick video and for something very very simple but something which is quite highly requested and quite efficient and great to use and add into your game. So if we close this I'll show this working once again. So if I press 2 just to get these settings, for me if I press 1 I'm going to get this button here. I press it, it will take a moment to load while it's doing the benchmark test and then it will apply the settings immediately after we've got those test results back. And so now we have the best settings for me, you'll see it looks nice and it runs smooth this is probably the best it can actually get inside of the engine. So I think that'll be it for this video as we've done everything we've want to do. We've set it up so we can run a hardware benchmark test and apply those settings onto our game to get the best possible settings for the player's system so it's going to run the best and also look the best that it can. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.